take 6,537 roughly. There's something that's messing up a lot of people right now and it's not being talked about. What it is, is people getting really sucked into the news cycle to the point where it's messing them up. And it's not healthy. It's, it's hurting these people. And I know, I, I've got a lot of experience with this. I've been there multiple times myself. Something messy happens in the world. We're like, oh my God, how, how could this even be happening? Like, how could people be making these sort of decisions? And then we're wired as humans to try and make sense of things so that we feel safe, right? So we see something as a threat when it doesn't align with how we think the world should be. So we're like, let me find out more information so I can make sense of it and have that illusion of safety. But there's a never ending slew of information. If you're relying on the information out there to make you feel some sense of like calm, not gonna work. And then what happens is in looking for that sense of safety, if it's not gonna be resolved now, then it's like at least you can figure out good guys versus bad guys because everybody understands good guys versus bad guys. It lacks all nuance and it <laughs> us up in terms of communication, but it makes sense. And Look, okay, stop right now. Are you somebody who wants to make the world better? Like, do you want to end this fuckery of people killing each other and not listening and not care? Like, all the messy shit. Are you sick of it too? Yeah, okay, because if you're not, like, this isn't for you. But here's why it matters, is I see so many people who get by getting sucked into news cycles and they lose themselves. And these are the people who want to make an impact and make the world a better place. But when you get really sucked in and your nervous system's all hijacked and you're angry and, and sad and freaking out and us versus them and blah, you're not gonna make the world a better place. In fact, it, when you're being judgmental and being like, good guys, bad guys, rah, all that, it literally stops the part of the brain that's going, hmm, let me try and understand the other people. Let me figure out how we can make a better world. And like, not that I'm putting it on you to save the world personally, but the more people who are thinking, hey, how do we build something new and better? That's gonna be a lot more effective than a bunch of people being angry going, how do we destroy this? I feel strongly about this because as I said, I've been there a lot and it sort of came to a head last fall when um, I was getting sucked in too often and just seeing some stuff that I'm not gonna describe, I really didn't wanna see and I just remember shutting my laptop and it just had gone so far, I couldn't even be angry anymore. I had to check out emotionally. And it wasn't me, and I felt like I was losing myself. And then I started recognizing that in more and more people around me. And it's not good. It doesn't feel good. And there's no reason for you to give yourself up with what's going on. Now, I'm not saying we should all be Zen masters and be like Yoda and just philosophize about everything from some perfect place. No, we're gonna be angry, we're gonna be sad, we're gonna have normal human feelings. But when you don't leave room to process it, think about it, we lose the ability to learn to understand and ask questions and make decisions about how we wanna show up. When you lose yourself, you're losing the ability to have the biggest impact possible. Too many really amazing people right now are losing, I, I want to say like the opposite of empowerment, but I loathe the word empowerment. It's so cheesy, but losing their power, essentially, they're giving it up. <laughs> Fuck that. That's letting the bad guys win. So I want you to break this information consumption obsession cycle. And if you're not in one right now, but you have tendencies to go that way, I want to remind you the American elections are coming up, which is why I'm really training myself to not go down that route. And I've got a whole bunch of new tools devised and I've created a workshop specifically on this. I don't want you to put your life on pause just because some election is happening somewhere, even though it's a big deal or other things going on in the world. It doesn't mean you're being apathetic. And I'm not saying choose ignorance. You can stay informed. Big fan of, of that. And caring, well, you wouldn't be listening to this if you didn't care. So how do you align who you want to be with what's going on to feel powerful? Man, talked a lot there. 
link in my bio to join the workshop.